Well, we've told you before, there are some businesses and industries that are actually doing quite well during this pandemic. We have the man known as the Cocktail Ninja, Trevor Schneider, joining us now from Rekka Vodka. Did I say that right? Yes, ma'am, you did. Hi, okay. Elsa, how are you? Oh, it's good to see you again. I wish it were in studio, but I'm so happy that we at least get you virtually. Tell us a little bit more about how business has been for Rekka Vodka. Yeah. Business has been really good, obviously, uh, outside of the pandemic. <laughs> but yeah, no, things are going well. Uh, I think that, you know, as the, the trends are moving with everybody drinking at home, uh, I've come in quite useful in a lot of ways. <laughs> Absolutely. And I feel like we're all trying to be our own personal bartenders all of a sudden. And Reka Vodka, one of the things that I remember when you came to the station beforehand in studio, you were just talking to me about the quality of this vodka and how it's made, how it's sourced. It's really completely different. It's an amazing vodka and we stand out in a lot of ways than other competitors because we use Arctic spring water, which is arguably some of the purest water in the world. Yes. And I, if you guys are out shopping around, whether that's on an e-commerce thing, probably not out in stores, but if you are and you see the bottle, do grab it, try it out, because to Elsa's point, it is an amazing vodka. And you, we are all novices. We have not earned the title of Cocktail Ninja yet. You have. <laughs> so we need you to help us a little bit. What are some yep. of the cocktails that we could make that actually would turn out okay? Right. So uh, this is a great point, And we're going to jump right in. So I like for now, because you do have, to your point, a lot of novice bartenders at home. So I'm kind of enamored with three ingredient cocktails. Uh, we're going to start with the lovely Reka vodka, one of the first Icelandic vodka sold here in the United States. We're going to start with two ounces of that. And I feel like, Elsa, we may or may not have made one of these in studio. But again, it fits the trend because we're going to make an Icelandic espresso martini. So then we're gonna move on to one ounce of fresh espresso. And I know you guys probably, you just maybe have these ingredients in your house. Mm -hmm. And kind of a pro tip, if you don't have a shaker tin or a set or even a measuring device, you can use Tupperware, you can use a mason jar. And for the measuring device, you can use your teaspoons and tablespoons and even your measuring cups so that you can make your cocktails. So don't fret. You do not okay. have to be a mixologist and buy tools. <laughs> Last ingredient is going to be just simple syrup. And we're going to pour a half of an ounce in there. And then we're going to ice up the glass and shake it. And like I said, if you had Tupperware, you just snap the lid on now or your mason jar and, and, and have at it. This is my favorite part, Elsa. I know you already know yes. this. There you go. I love it. <laughs> And then we got this easy, beautiful, full cocktail into a chilled glass, okay? If mm -hmm. you guys put glass in the freezer, awesome. If you just wanna put ice in the glass before you serve the drink, that's great as well. You just wanna make sure you're pouring something cold into something cold. Okay. And then what we got here, I'll see if I can get a little bit closer. There you go, yeah. That looks So great. we have a beautiful three ingredient cocktail. Like I said, the Icelandic espresso martini. Very simple, very easy, probably have the ingredients at home. It's a great pick-me-up for all of us homeschooling parents when you're yes. moving from your coffee onto the afternoon, early evening. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say it'll get you through the day. Absolutely. Period. <laughs> And you know what? I joke about us all being bartenders at home. I mean, it's sort of a joke, sort of not. We are. But we want to make sure that we're also supporting bartenders who are bartenders as a profession, because we know that right now this is a difficult time. Rika Vodka is doing something special so that we can all get in to help support, correct? Yes. So Rika Vodka has created a, a little kind of uh, support for the bartenders or hospitality industry across the country and frankly across the world. So if you log on to our Instagram, uh, Rika Vodka, and next thing you know, you post a picture, you tag Rika Vodka, and you hashtag Rika Beard. Rekha Vodka will donate $5 for every post that's tagged and hashtagged to help support bartenders across the world. So okay. it's if you guys are looking for a way to help out, that's the way. Okay. Do you say Rekha, Rekha beard? Like a beard? Yes. So we have a filter where you can throw in a beard. So for all of you out there that don't have a beard, Elsa, you don't have a beard. 
you can put the filter on, you can put the beard on, you shake your head and it changes the shape of the beard. And then you can touch the screen and it'll change the color of the beard. And then, like I said, just at Rake of Vodka and then hashtag Rake of Beard and we will donate $5 to help support bartenders across the world. Oh man, we can laugh and it's helping a, a great cause as well. It's perfect. Thank you so much for being here. The gifts that keep welcome. on giving with you, I swear. <laughs> it's okay. great to see you, Elsa. <laughs> Trevor's, thank you so much. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.